So, will Sora kill Microstock? I'll share my thoughts in a moment, but first, if you haven't seen the news already on Sora, let's get you up to speed. In this video, I'll share a look at Sora's capabilities, the reaction of Microstock contributors, my own opinion on whether this will kill the market for Microstock video, and finally, the latest on when we may be able to use Sora ourselves. First, let's take a look at what Sora is and what it can do. Sora is a new tool developed by OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. Sora is an AI platform that can generate realistic and imaginative video scenes based on text instructions, much like programs such as Midjourney does for images. It aims to understand and simulate the physical world in motion. Here are some examples of Sora output based on some given text prompts. A stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a long red dress and black boots, and carries a black purse. She wears sunglasses and red lipstick. She walks confidently and casually. Another example. Historical footage of California during the gold rush. And here's another. The camera follows behind a white vintage SUV with a black roof rack as it speeds up on a steep dirt road surrounded by pine trees on a steep mountain slope. OpenAI has stated that its intention is to help professionals across many industries make learning and training easier and to demonstrate the capabilities of products more easily on websites so customers can see a product in action or, say, see themselves wearing certain clothing items before they buy. Of course, anyone in a creative profession, from Hollywood actors and filmmakers to commercial producers to Microsoft contributors like us, are rightly concerned that Sora and the many other AI platforms already or soon to be announced will take away their livelihoods. There's a lively debate going on right now at the microstockgroup.com forum, and the vast majority of contributors posting there are saying that Sora spells doom for people like us. If customers can easily create whatever they need with a few simple prompts, our entire Microstock income will vanish very quickly. But here's my opinion. Sora, like Midjourney and other AI platforms, is a tool. Yes, some customers will use it to create what they need and bypass our services. However, I look at it this way. Everyone has a professional or near-professional level camera in their hands or pockets every moment of the day. And yet customers still buy stock photography. A customer may need a photo of people shaking hands. Yes, they could run down the hall and ask a few people they know to shake hands move them into a spot with good lighting, ask them to put on a suit coat or other desired type of clothing, take a few good shots, upload them to their computer to place in a website or brochure or presentation, or that customer could instead choose to pay a dollar to purchase the shot they need from a stock agency. The fact is many customers value their time more than the dollar it would take them to buy exactly what they're looking for. And that's keeping the market for stock images and video alive right now. I believe the market will continue to live on after Sora is widely available. Anyone who uses Midjourney or other tools right now to create still images knows that it usually takes more than one prompt to get exactly what you're looking for. Even if you've become very skilled at using Midjourney to create great output with minimal prompts, this still takes work, and you've developed this knowledge after spending a good deal of time at it. I believe most customers will either not be willing to spend this time learning the process of getting great output themselves, and will continue to be happy to pay a small amount to get what they want more quickly. Plus, there's the fact that many customers may not feel they're imaginative and won't know what they want until they see it. They may go to an agency like Adobe Stock and type in diversity, because they just know they need an image that somehow communicates diversity as a concept. Adobe Stock will present them with millions of great options to choose from, work that we've created, and many buyers will opt to purchase for a small fee an image that we've already created for them. Yes, we will have to learn to adapt as contributors. The most savvy among us will dive in as soon as Sora is available and start generating some clips that will be highly desired by customers and upload them to agencies like Adobe Stock. This immediate period after Sora launches should be a profitable one for those who jump on it right away. My advice is to prepare for this opportunity by researching the market to determine what type of video clips are most in demand, make a prioritized list of videos to create with Sora, have a workflow in place, and hit the ground running. To me, the larger fear that video contributors to stock agencies should have is missing the boat on Sora and giving your earnings over to other contributors who are going to create work that competes with yours. 
But in the short term, I believe customers will still be willing to buy videos from agencies and the number of customers who will be savvy enough to train themselves on the tool and go through the trial and error it takes to generate the perfect clips will be relatively small. Over time, that could change as technology makes tools like Sora so user-friendly that customers will be able to create the perfect clips with virtually no effort. But I think that will be a long way off. And even when it arrives, to the point I made earlier, some buyers just won't be imaginative enough to know what they want until they see it. And we'll be there to show it to them and earn the sale. Which brings us to the next big question. When will Sora be available for us to use? Right now, OpenAI says this. Today's SOAR is becoming available to red teamers to assess critical areas for harms or risks. We are also granting access to a number of visual artists, designers, and filmmakers to gain feedback on how to advance the model to be most helpful for creative professionals. So, for right now, we really don't have any indication on when it will be opened up for us and the general public to use or how much it will cost. Now, we could look at how and when OpenAI rolled out ChatGPT following its unveiling to see if we may be able to predict when it might do the same thing with Sora. OpenAI released the first version of the chat tool as InstructChat in early 2022. It then unveiled ChatGPT as a publicly available chatbot in November of 2022. Incidentally, OpenAI typically holds a developer event day in November, so those are two possible signs that November 2024 could possibly be when we see a public release of Sora. But of course, that's only an educated guess at this point. We're still in the early days of learning about Sora. I'll be following the news closely and provide updates in my channel here on YouTube as I get them, so be sure to subscribe. What's your take on what Sora and other AI tools mean for the future of selling stock photos, videos, and illustrations online? Please share your thoughts in the comments here, and until next time, I'll see you soon. I mentioned in an earlier module that quality and quantity are both important. Yes, quantity ultimately has the edge because it's vital to build a large portfolio. But both are part of the winning formula, which is this. Success in selling online equals quality. Your work has to meet the technical specs to be accepted, and this gets you in the door. Plus quantity. You need to build a large number of images or videos to give customers choice. They may click on one of your images, decide it's not quite right, but see you have another on the topic and you get the sale. Plus demand. You should be focused on subject matter that customers want today and will want for years to come. Plus, attention grabbing. Your work should jump off the screen and demand to be downloaded. Unless you're lucky enough to find in-demand niches that your competition doesn't know about yet, there will be many other images and videos all around yours on the search results page. You may still be wondering how to determine what the hottest selling topics or themes are, and we're about to go over that in much more depth in the next section. I'll see you there.